Okay, let's take a look at aligning the reticle on your microscope. We're gonna need to get set up here with your foot switch, the positioning table, and some stock piece of material. Here we're using a quarter. Okay, let's go ahead and set up this reticle. Uh, first thing you wanna do is bring that leveling table up into focus with your piece of metal or material on it. Make sure it's steady before you fire your first pulse. Now we have some settings here. Uh, these are what you wanna use for um, aligning that first shot. You can set the beam diameter to 0.3 millimeters, the shot frequency to 0.0 hertz, so you only fire one shot on each pulse of the foot switch. You can set the pulse duration to about three milliseconds and the power setting to about 10%. Okay, now we're ready to fire our first alignment shot. Okay, now that we fired that first shot, we can go ahead and use the two and a half millimeter hex wrench. And we're gonna make adjustments on this microscope mount to bring that reticle right into center of that laser pulse. You wanna make small adjustments to this microscope mount as you're bringing that crosshair over your laser shot. So while you're making these adjustments, be sure to only make small quarter turns from one side and then move to the other side to tighten to go in one direction. You don't wanna remove the screw all the way, otherwise you're gonna run into some other problems and uh, you'll have to fix this microscope mount. So we have four different positions for these set screws. Over here we have the three o'clock and opposite we have nine o'clock and then we also have a six and a 12 o'clock all around the microscope mount. All right, let's go ahead and adjust our reticle. Once you have aligned the reticle to your laser pulse, you're ready to weld. If you're using the LMDT model, you can use the touch screen to align the crosshairs. Let's go into camera. And to adjust these crosshairs, you're just gonna use these arrows. You can see we're already pretty well aligned, but these arrows will move the crosshairs left, right, up, and down. Once you've aligned the crosshairs, you can go ahead and save that position. Okay, now we're ready to weld.